Hey everybody, it's Alan Hines again up here in Laurel Canyon. It's kind of early here, just waking up, having my coffee. Well, it's, it's almost 12, it's almost noon. Uh, so I guess it's not that early. But um, I wanted to tell you about another guitar. Just another thing that I've stumbled across, I thought some people might be kind of interested. This guitar is an LSL guitar. Lance Lerman made this for me. And it's the model is called a Zuma or a Topanga or a Zuma. I think it's Zuma with one pickup. But the neck he shaped exactly like my 1960 uh, Les Paul Special. It's got a really nice D shape to it, you know. Um, it's not super thin like the SGs or anything, but it's a really comfortable neck. And this guitar is awesome. I mean, it plays great. It sounds great. It looks cool. And he did a kind of special thing for me. I don't know if you can see it. It's really subtle. On the headstock, he put my daughter's name. And it's in light blue. Beautiful cursive writing. It's called it's Catherine Michelle. And God dang it. You know, it's kind of weird because it's kind of ghostly. Well, you can kind of see it. There's a little blueness back there. Anyway, in certain light, it kind of pops out in nice, subtle ghostly way um, is I added this thing called a palm pedal and that's kind of what I wanted to talk about too um, the pickup by the way is grin and dog pickups these guys in Japan have been making some really great stuff for me lately and this pickup is just like it's high output it's really big and warm sounding because um, I play this guitar mostly clean I have like uh, 14s on here really huge strings on it because I like to play slide on this but the cool thing this palm pedal was made by Gibson I'm sorry by Bigsby back in the I want to say 70s. It might have been earlier, but I think it was 70s and 80s. And they've made, there's like a, you can see the two levers here for the B and the G string. Now, they actually made them with six on there for each string. But the standard, I think, was with these two. And I think Jimmy Page kind of made them popular. You know, that one song, was it Houses of Holy, on House of the Holy Record, where, you know, where he does a lot of like just block chords. That's a very poor impersonation of that. But you know what I'm talking about. I don't remember the song now, but um, that was one Led Zeppelin song I didn't learn. Anyway, but this contraption is done from the B bender part is on the top. It's not through a strap mechanism or anything, so it's easy to install. It has to go on a guitar that has a flat surface. That's why they put them on a lot of Telecasters. And you can still find them sometimes on eBay on old Telecasters. You know, on 70s Telecasters, so you can get it for not a lot of money. But here's where it's really cool. is like if you... Look, I grew up in Alabama, so um, I've always been partial. I've always loved pedal steel on a good country song or, shoot, David Crosby stuff or um, uh, Daniel Lenoir stuff. Or um, It's just the most beautiful instrument in the world. Um, and I'm sure you know the sound, whether you're that familiar with the pedal steel. The thing about pedal steel is that it's a lifetime. It's like flying a helicopter. It's like the hardest instrument in the world to play. I had one for about a summer about three months, and then when I came back on tour, I'd forgotten everything I'd learned, and I used it just to dry my tennis shirts after tennis. <laughs> I eventually sold that thing. But anyway, this is a poor man, Homer Simpson's um, pedal steel simulator, because you can do stuff like this. If you, can, if you have a little control with your right hand, like I have been playing with my fingers my whole life, and you're, you can use a volume pedal. Well, let me show you what it does first. Standard tuning, right? press the lever and it pulls it out up to a fixed pitch and it's fixed by this little screw it's kind of a primitive design and that's a little flat so I just back the screw out and get a little bit more leeway more and, chin. and the same on G string now you can set them up so they do half steps even as much as a minor third if you want to but this seems to work best for me so I can get this kind of effect when I'm uh, layering tracks for somebody's record they want this kind of vibe i'll put a little delay a little reverb you know so with a little, a little knowledge of the fretboard, and you can probably go crazy with this thing with open tunings too, so the, the possibilities are pretty endless. 
Now I just, I mean, Lance would probably kill me if he saw this up close because I actually hammered it in <laughs> and dug into it because I had to replace the one secret of putting these on the guitar is getting in the right position because I had it too far back so it was like over the bridge and I couldn't really pick comfortably you have to get it where it fits comfortably in your palm and you can still kind of pick you know where there's not a pickup or another a bridge there so I kind of had to remove mine around and I didn't I'm impatient you know I can't even blame this on the pandemic because this was not <laughs> this is just me being impatient and um impulsive that I just went for it um it's more vintage looking. Anyway, I, this guitar is awesome. I've got the Green and Dog pickup on there. It's Lance uh, Lerman's LSL uh, Zuma model, I believe. The one pickup, like a uh, double cut old Gibson style. But it's a great guitar, number one. And the palm pedals, which it says there in the little button on the guitar, says palm pedal, which is so cute. And I wish they still made these. I mean, I would go to the, the Bixby booth every year at the NAMM show. And they just don't make them anymore. I don't know why. I think they still make, maybe they still make the B-Bender. But this one seems so much more practical because you can put it on any flat, any guitar with a flat top. You can't put it on a Les Paul or something like an arch top. But any Telecaster or like guitar like this, you can put it on. And it's a wonderful addition to any uh, uh, arsenal of guitar sounds you might have. So check it out, it's the Bigsby Palm Pedal, which they don't make anymore. You can find it on eBay on an old Telecaster from the 70s, which won't cost you too much money. Well, maybe it will now. But um, they're great things to find and they're great things to play around with. And um, it's a great addition to anybody's um, guitar arsenal. Okay guys, take care, see you next time.